I'm here in New York City, right across the street from Central Park. What we're seeing is the aftermath of a group of young Republicans who are supporting the Teddy Roosevelt statue staying in place. So right now we're seeing some controversy brewing. One group over here is saying they want to support and keep the Teddy Roosevelt statue, while the other group over here is saying we need to tear it down. And I'm willing to hear a middle ground proposal. The problem is, is there's been zero transparency. The young Republicans who opposed the statue's removal pointed to New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio's statement that he supports taking it down. He said that the statue depicts a racial hierarchy. Mayor de Blasio handed the responsibility to his wife, who heads the Racial Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Protesters who seek to remove the statue say it reflects white supremacy and systematic racism in America. But some African Americans attending the rally said otherwise. Black in this country, you can be anything you want. There's no nothing holding you back. If you work hard enough, you can get it. I didn't grow up, I'm 36 years old, I didn't grow up in this country ever in my life thinking, I can't do this, I can't do that because I'm black. I said, if I want to do it, let me just work hard I can do it. Some people told us they feel destroying the statue would represent much more than a call for equality. We're seeing the same thing with Black Lives Matter, which is a pawn. But these are just branches on a tree, and the root is communism. They want to just push out every single foundation America has had that has made us the strongest country in the world. And what they want to do is bring us bring us down to our knees so desperate to where we, we racially can't get along. Uh, people are terrorizing us. Uh, there's no, there's no uh, justice system. If we, de if we deny God and we deny righteousness and truth, we in trouble. But destroying, like, like the Taliban did, like the ISIS, the, like the communist Mao, destroying what was there in our culture, it scares me because I've seen it before. They don't care about the statue. They care about culturally resetting the country. Destroying or covering statues has become a common approach in recent weeks. But some say there may be another way. I'm all for voting on it, not tearing it down. And if we do vote on taking this down, I think it should be put in a private gallery or a museum so that we understand our history. Not to he pointed to Germany's handling of the Holocaust, where concentration camps are left open, not to idolize the Holocaust, but to educate people about the horrors of that period of time. Gabriel also noted the moral implications and what this period of time means for future generations. They'll open up their textbook and say, what was 2020 like? And if we don't actually correct the narrative now, or the actual story, they will use a narrative to then say that this was the time when we fought for equality by looting, burning, and they'll think that that's the way you get a message. No. Our, our moral values are on the decline. We are not holding people responsible. As of now, the Theodore Roosevelt statue is still standing outside the museum. Although both the mayor and governor say it should be removed, it's unclear if, when, or how that might happen. Reporting from New York, Melina Weiskup, NTD News.